Shalom Aleichem. In so many ways I'm realizing how important it is to be a person of truth. It's so, so painful to, to see people who can lie with no end. How, how you say it in English? Lie, lie their teeth out? I don't know. I think I, uh, I heard that once. Anyway. I'm familiar with a certain person that it's uh, kind of like, it's crazy, it's sick. This person is lying on everything. No matter what goes on in life, he will lie. And even like in the middle of the most honest conversation that he will find himself part of, part of, he will find himself lying. Like he cannot not lie. It's like a sickness. It's very painful to think that people can lie so hard, <clears throat> so badly and pretend to be honest and to be truthful and always to steal and always to lie and always to pretend and always to, to make sure that the truth will not be seen. For me it's horrible to think that people are suffering so badly that they will do everything that is in their power not to be exposed. Usually the world will say that probably the person went through so much hell and is suffering so badly and had rough childhood that brought him to be so scared of society, of people. He lost his trust in, in, in people. And I can agree with that. There's no doubt that some harsh life experiences can break the person's self-esteem to think that he must do everything for him to be loved and accepted and that he won't trust his own good nature to be the reason for people to like him and to love him. But there is a certain level that to it you can be um, you can forgive and you can accept because I think that there is a stage that a person must take responsibility on himself and really to start fighting with his evil inclination and not allowing himself to ride on the backs of others and to take advantage of other people. There is a certain place that you need to stop and to take responsibility. We can all blame our parents, we can all blame earlier generations for the lackings that we're carrying until today, but if you see that you are already affecting the next generation, riding on the backs of your children, breaking the self-esteem of your surroundings. This is an, it's supposed to be a real turning point in your life that you should work hard to change those patterns and not to allow them into the lives of the ones who depends on you. For me, this is a very important message to pass on and I'm sure that my friends and followers and students that I know that are people of truth will take this message and will make a change and will work hard to improve. And the way to improve, first of all, is to take things into consideration, into our awareness. To start, first of all, admitting the truth and being honest with our condition. If you do bad things, wrong things, evil things, unfortunate things, first of all, admit the truth. Be a person of truth and don't start and don't continue to play and act as if you're not responsible and not able to correct. First of all, say the truth, I am, I did, I was. 
Taking responsibility is for sure the beginning of the changing process that is needed. Next steps for sure will be as well to admit to the ears and eyes of people you hurt them, to be honest and humble and to be able to say the truth and to apologize to people you hurt and to pay back if it's money to pay back money even if it's slowly even if it's with time to try to do the best you can if it's with good words and to express compassion to people that for a long time you were hard on and that you hurt their feelings so to do the best that you can to bring forgiveness and understanding and compensation to the ones that you hurt. And the last and final step is to connect the situation to the Creator with faith. So with prayer and with learning on those topics that really needs to be corrected, we will try to talk to the Creator and to pray to Him for Him to assist us to pay attention to our condition and to fix ourselves and to have the ability to recognize our patterns without them controlling us, just by us controlling them and avoiding them and not falling in the trap, not falling into the trap of our fears and our evil inclination. Just being honest and truthful with Hashem, talking with the Creator like you talk to your honest and best friend being truthful while talking to him, to them, and expressing the heart in prayer, saying to Hashem, look, I'm down, look Hashem, I'm broken, look Hashem, I messed up, I did something wrong, I need your help, please help me, give me power, give me wisdom, give me strength, let me succeed, not to hurt no one, not to be on top of no one, not to take advantage of no one. Simple, beautiful words of truth in prayer, are shading, bringing down, pouring huge amounts of light. And I believe, definitely I believe, that the prayer of truth is easily being answered. As truthful and honest as you will be in your conversation with God, that's how much power and energy you will find in yourself to correct yourself and to elevate from that place that you feel today that you're stuck in. May Hashem answer all our prayers and revive us, give us life and bring us up from complete darkness to huge great illumination of ourselves and of the whole wide world. Amen.